Hi, um, my name is Alana and I'm a trainer of English communication skills for HR professionals. Um, so I've been teaching English for 10 plus years, but it was always general English. I taught um, mainly adults. Um, and then uh, recently, uh, thanks to James, I switched to um, niche teaching and program-based teaching. Uh, so my niche are um, uh, HR professionals who struggle with communication skills. Um, I'm thinking about narrowing it down and uh, to uh, HR business partners. Uh, and so I focus on uh, skills like active listening, uh, understanding, uh, expressing opinions, um, sometimes presentation giving or something like that, dealing with Q and A's and these kind of issues. And the reason why I, uh, chose this niche was because my other passion is facilitation. Uh, I facilitate, uh, virtual exchange programs and a lot of those skills kind of overlap. So, uh, when I was thinking about what niche I should choose, uh, my first thought was to go to facilitators, but then these are generally, uh, or usually volunteers or people from, um, yeah, NGO backgrounds and so on. And because I also have some experience with NGO, I didn't feel that this would be very, um, how to say, <laughs> it wouldn't be very affordable, like those kind of services that I would like to provide for them. And so, um, I was looking for an area in business where my skills would match the needs and I got some clients from HR and uh, it kind of made sense that I was able to help them out. So, um, so yeah, first of all, I was not very super happy because I've never worked in HR. I've never worked in a corporate, it's really strange world for me. So it was kind of a process which took like maybe a year before I figured out that it actually makes a lot of sense. And uh, once I started to, started to have some clients from the, my niche, I felt much more connected. So uh, when I started to interact with them on LinkedIn, when I started to have sessions, strategy sessions with them, when I got my first clients uh, for my program, um, it felt much better and I could learn more about them, about their needs. And it felt very natural because the needs that they were expressing kind of repeated <laughs> very much. So I felt like, yeah, this is the right direction for me and I'm the right person to, uh, to help them with their uh, struggles. Um, yeah, so that's what I like that I can actually use my skills, even though it's from a different uh, sector, um, I feel useful for them. Um, it's not just about um, teaching grammar or whatever, but I actually I like, am able to teach them some um, skills like yeah, like active listening and whatnot. Um, I don't think there's anything I don't like about my niche at this point. Maybe that will come. I'm I feel I'm still at the beginning. So, um, what I would recommend when, uh, if you think about niche teaching, or if you think about, um, even like niching to HR is that LinkedIn is a great place because it's like a natural environment for HR, but, uh, still that doesn't mean that, um, you will get a lot of engagement, maybe, maybe with time, maybe it will happen. But, uh, that's one thing that I uh, realized when, um, I started to interact with them and and post content for them, um, uh, that it's actually not easy for them to, um, to, you know, engage with the content online because that's that way they will show that they're not really sure. And that's one of the things that they struggle a lot with, at least my clients that they don't feel confident that they feel nervous and it's not easy to, um, you know, show that to their colleagues that they're kind of interacting with a post with a, uh, of um, a communication coach. So um, maybe at the, at the beginning, it might feel that uh, you don't get a lot of engagement, but um, it's still, it's a, I think it's a great niche to interact with because they really have the need and they're uh, generally really eager to, 
to work on themselves and uh, develop further. So I hope this is helpful. Bye.